Hello guys and welcome back to Let's Play Lego Harry Potter years 5 through 7. This is part 4. Just giving Colin his camera and he will drop out the key for the door for us. Yeah. So remember from the last part we was doing and the second level of the game. It's called Dumbledore's Army and we were in Hogsmeade. Now we just saw in the cutscene that Neville Longbottom found the Room of requir Requirement. So we are going to make our way to the Room of Requirement and we're going to check out how it is in there and if we can use it to study our spells without Umbridge knowing it. And talking about Umbridge, there she is, just walking around with her pink clothes and her pink purse, just looking around for anyone doing something which is, in her eyes, suspicious. Uh, the room requirement is right over here. This is a new um, area to the game. It looks very nice. Nothing interesting up here except for the room requirement and like extra stuff you can get. Um, but anyways, um, let's um, head inside the room of requirement. So many of the people in Dumbledore's army are now going to um, practice dueling in the room of requirement. This is also a new thing, the dueling. I think it's new. I don't think this was in the previous game, I think. Yeah, I don't think so. You just basically, you just switch between all of your spells and uh, you win the duel that way by shooting the opponent. And then you can battle it out like this. This looks really, really cool. Um, you can battle other people. It's basically like the... Um, and sometimes you might not have the spells and then you have to use a shield to block. Um, but that's um, in between uh, and the spells, the ones. Looks really cool. It's like from the, from the battle that uh, Voldemort and Harry had. In Goblet of Fire. And I'm actually almost dying. What the hell is going on? You have to do that, and then you can use your spell again and do this. It looks super cool. It looks really nice in the game. And we just learned dueling. Dueling has been unlocked. Perfect. And another gold brick. and Cho Chang just kissed. So romantic. So now it's basically Christmas at Hogwarts and um, 
Yeah, that went pretty well in the rumor requirement that Dumbledore's army learned dueling, and now you can use dueling um, later on in the game. We will pretty much use it in all of the boss battles throughout the game. All of the boss battles will basically be dueling, uh, which is nice. That's okay. Dueling is sometimes fun to do. If you have all of the spells, that is. If you don't have all the spells, it might be a bit annoying sometimes. But it's fine. So we are now on our way uh, from the room requirement and we're going to go back to the Gryffindor common room. And we're going to be starting, we're going to be doing the third level of um, year five, um, Order of the Phoenix. And the level is called Focus. So let's head inside. Gryffindor common room and start that level. And here we are. We are now back in Harry's memories. We are back where... And we just got Dudley's gang member. That's a bit random. We are back where the first level took place with Dudley. And uh, yeah, basically this level focus, um, of course, by the name, is going to be going on in Harry's memories. We're going to go back and look at Snape going and um, having fun. That's so cute. Um, yeah, it's going to be going on in Harry's memories and we're going to be teaching him um, the spell focus. But right now only Snape can use focus. You just call the spell at like um, uh, over the heads of the people uh, where they had like uh, bubbles, you know, I don't know really what it's called. And then you, that will show you what they want for you to get to them. And then we have to get it for them. Um, Dudley, he wants a cake. Of course he wants a cake. But we just need to find that cake. Where are we going to find a cake on a playground? Who knows? And Harry is going to use the other spells because uh, for some reason Snape only can use... He can only use um, focus in this level. Just a bit random, but um, you know that's fine. So we just built this. Now we're going to search through and try to look for a cake. The only thing bad about this is that it's really slow at digging, so I don't really like using it that often, really, because it's quite slow, and I don't like using slow things. There we go, it's working, and I really like the fact that the level is kind of, it's kind of, it's not completely grey-ish, like black and white, it's kind of grey-ish, um, like a yellowish grey, kind of. It looks quite nice, I, it, it's the same um, type of colour that you had in the level in Chamber Secrets, in year two, uh, where you went into... Tom Riddle's diary basically and into his memories kind of the same coloring and I like how how they had like the same colors and it's kind of like a connection to the previous game kind of I really like that part of it 
Um, but there we got a cake, so we can pick it up and uh, give it to Dudley. And now we're on to the next memory. We're at Grimald's place. You can see Molly is the one that has the thoughts above her head and they just lock the doors on us. What we need to find is the knob for the door into the kitchen where Sirius and Remus and everybody is. There's quite a lot of stuff you can explore around this area. It's not too difficult to get Drew Wizard in this level either, so I might be getting Drew Wizard in this level, who knows. Uh, family picture. Remus and Lily and James Potter and Sirius Black. That's nice. Yeah, it's not too difficult to get, to get uh, Drew Wizard here, so get it if you want to. Next era is the room of requirement. This one is really easy. You just have to like hit these things that we need to practice on. But there's quite a lot of studs around, so I'm just going to get them. This one hiding behind um, the mirror. Okay, she's missing her wand, Cho Chang. So we need to get her the wand. And I want to play Snape now because we never played a Snape before, so. It's quite fun to play as him. It's a new experience, kind of. There we go, where is the wand? And a small little boss battle, but it's really easy. You just have to hit it one time and it's dead. That was not um, a difficult boss at all. It's quite funny, actually. And now you can give back the wand to Cho Chang. And here we are back at the Ministry of Magic. This is the last area that we have to explore in the level. To get these studs you just cast a spell at the chair and it will kind of like bump you up kind of. And then you will get the studs you are quite close to True Wizard now, so I hope you will be able to get it. I really want to get True Wizard again. Well, we... the last time we got True Wizard was in the first level. This is only level 3 though, but still. I want to get True Wizard again! I want the studs, you know? There's Fudge. So we need to get Snape. First get these studs. There we go. Alright, let's find that. There's still some stuff to explore here though, so we're gonna do that first. That just made that. And there's some studs here on the sides too, so don't miss it. There's always like studs hiding in the corners and stuff like that um, all throughout the game. So make sure you don't miss those if you want to get all the studs and Drew Wizard and stuff like that. Then we just got the Ravenclaw House Crest. It's perfect. We're not getting many extra stuff collectibles in this level, but that's fine. There we go, we're gonna catch it and give it back to Fudge. Cornelius Fudge. We just need a few more studs now and we can get True Wizard. Just a few more studs, please give it to me. Just a few more. Please, please, please. Okay, so we didn't get True Wizard apparently. 
That's that. Okay, this is the last area. I forgot. Um, yeah, back at the Hogwarts Express, the nine and three quarters. True is third, perfect. Now this is really easy. You just run over here. The wizards will move. And there you will see Voldemort. And what does Voldemort want? The universe. I always thought it was quite creepy when it came up that Voldemort just wanted the universe. I think that's pretty que creepy. And thank you guys so much for watching this video. I have to run now, I have stuff to do. Hope you'll join me in the next part for part 5. See you then, bye bye!